In this project, we will numerically validate the data obtained by the paper named Laminar Flow and Heat Transfer in U-Band. The effect of secondary flows in ducts with partial and full curvature. The geometry of the present model is drawn using design modeler software. Meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is structured. In this slide, you can see that we have extracted the figure 14 of the paper, which shows a graph of non-dimensionalized wall temperature distribution along inner and outer total arc and straight pipe non-dimensionalized length at Reynolds number equal to 1000. Now, in this project, we will validate the data obtained by this paper for the inner arc of the pipe. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Uh, also, by clicking on report quality, again in the console tab, the Fluid software will, uh, will give you the quality report for your mesh. For example, you can see the maximum aspect ratio of your mesh, uh, maximum orthogonal quality, and etc. As you can see, after double clicking on the energy button in the appeared box, we have enabled the energy equation since we want to. Uh, account for the dist for the temperature changes in our computational domain. As you can see in this part, we have selected laminar viscose model since our fluid in our computational domain has no high velocity and its Reynolds number is very low. If you expand the fluid section under the materials, you can see that a new material has been defined. If you double click on the fluid number one material, you can see that a new window will appear. In the appear window under the properties section, you can see that we have defined this material based on the information provided in the paper. After clicking on the inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit, the new window will appear. In the appeared window, you can see that under the momentum tab in front of the velocity magnitude section, we had defined the specific value for the velocity. This was previously explained about why we have set this value. Also, after clicking on the thermal tab, you can see the temperature of the fluid flow entering from this boundary. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than this criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, you will see that hybrid initialization method has been chosen, uh, which means that an average is taken from different part of the computational domain, and these averages are set to be the first and initializing values for our simulation. After double clicking on the run calculation button, you will be able to change the total number of iteration you want your simulation to progress. After defining the number of iteration, by clicking on the calculate the simulation to the start. In order to extract a 2D contour for our project, we first need to define a surface or a plane where we want to see our contour on. To do that, we right click on the surfaces button and then go over the new and then select plane. Now in this contour, you can easily see how the temperature has changed from the inlet boundary to the outlet. Also, in order to witness another contour, you just have to change the variable from temperature to any variable you want. For example, we have selected the velocity variable in this slide. Uh, again, we select on the plane surface. And after that, we click on Save or Display button. Like the previous slide about the temperature contour, you can easily see the velocity distribution on the inlet and outlet boundaries. Also, you can compare these contours with the contours provided in the paper. Now, as was mentioned in the previous slide, we are going to validate the result obtained by the paper on the inner arc, which you can see in this graph. To do that, we first have to define three different lines on different sections of pipe 1, bend, and pipe 2. After defining these three lines on the inner arc section of these pipes and sections, we are going to extract the temperature distribution along these lines. 
Also should be mentioned that in order to define a new line, just have to right click on the surfaces and then by going over the line or regs and clicking on it in the appear window, you can define the endpoint coordinates and after clicking on create, the software will create the line for you. Also it should be pointed out that in order to extract the data, uh, just have to enable the write to file option and then click on write. After that, you can save the data, and after that, you can use that data for the non dimensionalization process. Now, as was previously mentioned about extracting the data of temperature over the length, you can extract the data of temperature over the length and enter those data in an Excel sheet. And according to the non dimensioning scheme, which was explained in the paper utterly, you can validate the results obtained in the paper as you can see in this slide. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this slide we have extracted the figure one of the paper which shows two models and two bands implemented in the paper. The simulation has been done in different Reynolds number according to the paper. The present simulation has been done in Reynolds number of 1000, which according to the formula related to Reynolds number in the paper, the inlet velocity in the pipe is equal to 0 0.21791 meter per second. In this model, the thermal boundary condition on the pipe wall is used, so that a constant heat flux of 1156 watt per meter squared Kelvin is defined on the pipe wall. The purpose of the present problem is to investigate the behavior of the flowing fluid in the pipe and its heat transfer in the passage through the pipe band. The geometry of the present model is drawn using design modeler software. This model consists of a tube consisting of a band. The band is in the form of two knees connected to each other. The diameter of pipe is equal to 0.01 meter and the radius of the curvature of each elbow is equal to 0.015 meter. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is structured. The element number is equal to 2,268,000. To benefit from Mester CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.